Philadelphia Young Playwrights presents It's Chuck, written by Jennifer Wright, performed as part of the 2011 Young Voices Monologue Festival in partnership with Interact Theatre, read by Joshua Lynch. Charlie, it's time for breakfast, honey. Uh, how many times do I have to tell my mom I'm Chuck now? I consider ignoring my mom's call to breakfast until I'm addressed by my proper name. But my rumbling stomach squashes the idea. It's just, who are the other guys at school going to think of when they hear Charlie Sanders? Some schmuck whose lunch they probably stole a couple times near the slide back in fourth grade. Chuck. Chuck sounds like a cool guy. Yeah, you know, that cool guy. Chuck. At least that's what I'm hoping for. It's the first day of school and I gotta start fresh. I mean, it's the seventh grade for God's sake. Tomorrow could make or break my entire life. The second I morph back into Charlie, I'm right back to getting sad on top of the bus ride home. No, it's time for a change. Change is good, right? I mean, what's a new locker combination, eight new teachers, names, and a classroom number? And a new seat at lunch, I mean, I'm Chuck now. So it's the big day, showtime. Mom makes me smiley face pancakes. I know, I know, it's the seventh grade, not second, but I humor her. I mean, it's a big day for her too. Her baby boy is going off into the man's world. The man's world of junior high. I'm scared too, but I put on a brave face for her. So I'm at the bus stop, meeting up with my middle school buds. Hey Charlie, over here! I had to stalk over. Guys, guys! I'm Chuck. But you know what? The best thing happened before lunch. Rick and the guys. You know them. The, the ones who used to shove that kid loud in the locker last year. Ouch! Yeah, they're awesome. I know. So Rick comes up to me and is like, Hey Chuck, want to play some ball with us at lunch? I'm like freaking out, but I don't want to seem too lame. So I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. Finally. The time to prove myself is here. I mean, Chuck's good at basketball, right? So I ditch my brown bag of pudding cups and PB&J and head toward the court. As I'm walking, I see her. Mariana. Man, she's pretty as ever. She's that girl I've known since preschool. Our moms have been practically planning our wedding ever since. I mean, we grew up in the sandbox together. We used to be able to play in my yard or hers when we were kids. But, but after this summer, some things were different for us. I, I just really like her. I'm, I'm hoping we have some classes together. But I'd settle for a lock in hers at least. She smiled at me. Hey, Charlie. I try to form the words, what's up, Mariana? But they're uh, morphed into something like, what's what, what, Mariana? I try to play it off by giving her the double gun hand gesture thingy, meaning like, Catch you later, but um, I hope she got the message. I am so lame. Before I can see her reaction, I hear one of Rick's blockhead friends at the basketball court. It, Did you just see Mariana? Dude, she's so hot. Rick's like, yeah, bet y'all be the first one to get her. I'm just standing there open mouthed like a twit. I snap back. Nah, dude, she's way out of your league. My eyes just pop open at what I just let escape from my mouth. Even I can't believe what I just said. Surprise to me, Rick's like, oh right, Chuck's already got that. The guys are hooting and whistling, I just stopped to myself. My first thought is relief that he didn't get offended, but when I register what he actually said, I recoil. Got that? What does he mean, got that? She's practically been my best friend my whole life, I don't got anything. But on the other hand, Rick would probably think I was the man if I went along with it. I mean, that's what... Chuck would do, right? I laugh, nervously not confirming or denying. I must look conflicted because Rick stops and directs at me. What? Don't tell me you didn't get with her. Whoa. Wait, that one takes me a second. She is not that kind of girl. And and, and who are these jerks sitting here talking about her? No, that doesn't fly with me. I was like, dude, you have it so wrong. I didn't do anything with her. Now it's their turn to look confused. The guys all look at each other like I just spoke gibberish or something. Rick looks to the other guys this time and goes, (laughs) 
Looks like we got a chicken on our hands, guys. Bark, bark. Now they're all clucking and, and flapping their arms. Before I know it, my perfect opportunity to be the cool guy slipped out of my hands like wet soap. I don't even know what to do next. I'm just watching these guys call Chuck a chicken, but I'm no chicken. I just walk out on the guys yelling after me. I'm regretting trashing my pudding cup after all. Leaving the court, Mariana comes up to me. Hey, Charlie. I'm still red in the face from the running with the guys, but she just smiles like she always does. You know, I like it when she smiles. Her, her mouth turns up at the corners and it's just... Yeah, she asked me if I'm coming over Friday for her family's game night. I told her I'd be there and asked if I could walk her home from the bus. First day is over now. I'm, I'm heading home from Mariana's. Thankfully, mom will be home when I get there. She worked all day at the diner. Not sure about dinner though. She's usually dead tired. Mom yells out, Is that you, Charlie? I, I mean, ch I just cut her off. Yeah, mom. It's me, Charlie. This recording and its artistic content remain the individual property of its author and solely that of Philadelphia Young Playwrights. No uses, copies, distributions, or performances of individual writings or recordings are authorized. <laughs>